Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Reverse Flash from the Injustice 2 video game. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture, and paint, and if it's worth your purchase or not. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not only to support the channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So let's take a look at the box. So this is how the front of the box looks. The side. The back, the other side, top, and of course, bottom. All right, now let's take a look at the figure outside the box with the accessories. All right, let's take a look at the accessories that the figure comes with. As always, you do come with a card. So here's the front of the card. Here's the back of the card. And the accessories include these red lightnings. Here's the, the other one. And last but not least, the, the main one. And I'll show you how this looks like on the regular flash, but it comes with a red lightning. All right, now let's take a look at the figure itself. Now, I want to give a warning, mine did come with an error or QA issues, as they say. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So in the back, it is bent or dented here. I'm not too sure this is just my figure or maybe this is for every other figure. So I'm just showing you guys ahead of time. So if you do order this, this figure, be warned of the back. Again, I'm not too sure if it's just mine. I'm hoping it is mine because if it is mine, then it's just one figure that came with this issue. I mean, it's unfortunate I had to get it, but it is what it is. I'd rather have one issue be an error as opposed to a whole batch. So be warned of that. But let's take a look at the figure itself. So head sculpture right away. It looks very good. I like that silver right there. looks very good. The eyes, I like how they're blue. Facial sculpture, fantastic. Paint job is good. The helmet looks good. I like how overall the yellow is a bit bland or or matte, I should say, excuse me, but that silver has somewhat of a small gloss to it, and it looks really, really good, man. He did a fantastic job, man. Sorry. So, articulation, very limited. It could be the fact it's just a new figure, so it's a bit stiff. Torso, pretty good. Shoulders, good as always. Elbows bent, wrist. All right, left hand is open, right hand is closed. So far, upper body is good. Legs, toes, ankles, you can move them, but they're a bit stiff. Knees do bend, as you can see here. And articulation is good, as always. So overall, articulation, really, really good. Paint job is really good, like I said. That silver looks really good. My camera is not doing it justice. I'm telling you, the paint job on that silver, come on, reverse flash, stand for me, here we go. My posing is horrible, I know, but bear with me. The paint job looks really good, man. I'm telling you, it's it's really, really good. When you, If you end up seeing this in person, you're going to probably want to purchase it because of that silver. It looks really good, and it just pops, and it does it very good job. Now, the back, unfortunately, it doesn't, the whole red parts to it, it does not go into the back as well, too. That is unfortunate. I wish McFarlane did also paint it as red, too, because there's a the outline's there, I mean, the sculpture design is there for red, but it looks like he only did just the front. It's unfortunate, but I mean, for $20 for the paint job and sculpture, I think I think it's, in my opinion, looks really, really good. Now, when this was first announced, a lot of people were complaining, oh, this is just a repaint on the regular Flash. And I'm gonna say right now, that is complete incorrect, because there are some differences in terms of not, this one not being a repaint. There are some similarities, of course, but there are differences. Now, here is the regular flash. And you can see here, the little lightning bowl. You can put it on his hand and it looks like that. So, like I was saying, there are some differences. First off, the abdomen is different. Look at this one, look at this one. Number two, shoulders are different. 
This one has doesn't have that shoulder piece. This one, this one has shoulder piece. This one does not. And it also to the design texture is different compared to here. Also, that red outline is not present here. Obviously, the mask is different as well too. Also, the facial structure is different as well too. Now, in terms of the back, and I think Mr. Reverse Flash is gonna fall. I'm trying not to. Perfect. Again, there are some differences. Obviously, this one's not painted. This one is. Also, if you see the gold, it's not present here. Also, too, if you if you look at the sculpture design, it goes all the way up to up to his head. Not present here. Let's take a look at the legs. Again, different design as well, too. Look at the red. Look at that sculpture. It's not present on the regular flash. Also, two regular flash has this texture to it. It's not present here on the reverse flash. Also, two. Oh, let me just move this character back more. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. Look at the legs or the the design as well too. Sculpture in the red. It's not present here in reverse flash. I mean regular flash, excuse me. Obviously, the reverse flash logo on the on the legs, different. So there are some differences. So for anyone saying, oh, this is just a repaint, all it is is copy and paste, maybe certain parts, but they added some different textures. Look at the symbol as well too. And obviously the paint is different. So there are some differences. So if anyone says that reverse flash from Injustice 2 is just the same figure, it is not. There are some differences. Another difference right here too, look at the gold. It's not present on the reverse flash. So again, there are some differences. If anyone says reverse flash Injustice 2, copy and paste, that is completely incorrect and you can show them this video. That's proof. Now let's take a comparison look at Reverse Flash Injustice 2 compared to the Rebirth Era. Now the height's the same, they're both the same height, but I just have imposing so it looks shorter, but they're the same. Now, the question is, which Reverse Flash, if you had to pick one, would you choose or I would recommend? It's kind of a cop-out answer or response, but I would say it really depends on what you grew up with. If you read the comics and you read the Rebirth era, then I would say go with Rebirth. If you never read the comics and you play just the video games, go with Injustice 2. Or you can be, do what I do, what a lot of collectors do, is just buy both, man. They both look good. Yes, there are differences. Obviously, look at the sculpture. But it just... You can buy both. Not a, you can't, it's not like you can only choose one. You can buy both. And I gotta say, both look really, really good. Injustice 2, Reverse Flash looks fantastic. The color palette is amazing. The Rebirth Flash, less painting, but the head sculpture is good. The body and texture looks really, really good, similar to the comics. And like I said, either or, they're really good, man. I highly recommend getting both if you are a fan of Flash and, of course, Reverse Flash. And for me, I read the comics. I dig this one. I'm definitely purchasing it. And, of course, I got the Injustice 2 because, one, I wanted to make content, but also, two, I got it for 15 bucks. Thank you, GameStop, for reward points. And now we'll just add another figure, just for show and purposes, Gorilla Guru. And I gotta say, adding Reverse Flash, another villain, to the Injustice 2 line is a really good choice. And I gotta say, McFarlane did a fantastic job with Reverse Flash. It looks good, paints good, the silver looks good. Yes, there are differences compared to the regular Flash, and thumbs up from, from me. Fantastic figure. Definitely recommend purchasing the Reverse Flash. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me or not with Reverse Flash? Leave it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. That concludes an overview of Reverse Flash from the Injustice 2. And on to the next one.